Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am using my newly revived iPhone, which died a few weeks ago. And it's very old and it still needs some work on it, but this is actually the first video that I will be shooting on my iPhone, or at least I'm hoping to shoot it on my iPhone. We're gonna see how things go. Um, but I decided to start my YouTube channel after my iPhone died <laughs> and I bought this little temporary pay-as-you-go phone and I've been making all of my videos on that so hey you do not need any special equipment to make YouTube videos you can literally make a video on anything that will capture video so hopefully this video will turn out nicer because I think my iPhone camera is a little bit better than the other phone but who knows I certainly don't know that much about technology but anyway the purpose of our video today is to choose our shimmering ink. So about a week ago, I posted a video listing all of my blue shimmer inks and asking people to vote on them. And I actually had a three-way tie, if you can believe it. I, I figured that there might be at least two inks that would tie, but there were three. So um, it, was, it was a very difficult choice, um, but just to recap, um, we had the um, Jacques Urban Keonite Du Nepal, the Troublemaker Starry Night Blue, Colorverse Cat, Diamine Cobalt Jazz, Diamine Arctic Blue, and Diamine Blue Lightning. And the ones that tied were Troublemaker Starry Night Blue, Colorverse Cat, and Diamine Arctic Blue. So the one that I chose to go with is Troublemaker Starry Night Blue. And the reason I chose to do this one is because I see so few videos about Troublemaker inks. Um, I think they're a little bit challenging to get. I'm, I feel very lucky to have gotten the samples and bottles that I have. So I thought it might be nice to put a video out there showing people what some of these inks look like. Um, now the other two, I'm very interested. I think Colorverse Cat is beautiful, and the um, the other one was the Diamine Arctic Blue. So there's nothing to say that I can't do a little writing sample with these guys later. But the one that I'm working with today is going to be the Troublemaker Starry Night Blue. So I'm going to get these guys out of the way, and I have this ink loaded in my Cross Calais. And I have to tell you, I'm very nervous about using this ink because all I can think is that the glitter is going to get stuck in the pen and I'll never clean it. That's why I chose an opaque pen, so if there is some glitter stuck in it, I won't see it and it can't drive me too crazy. But hopefully it won't be too hard to clean. But I don't know if you're familiar with cross pens, but the um, converter on this thing has a teeny tiny little opening. So it's the perfect place for glitter to get stuck. So we'll see how that goes. But I also chose this one because it's a, a medium nib and a fairly wet writer. So I thought it would show off the ink pretty well. Um, I don't have a whole lot of variety in my nibs. Um, I keep meaning to get different size nibs, but I always end up getting mediums or if the medium's not available, I get the fine. So I do need to branch out a little bit more. Um, I have a Twisby Go with a broad nib, but it just makes me very nervous to think about using it, and I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with that pen. I like Twisby Goes in general, but it just makes me nervous. So I need to get used to writing with it, but I don't think using a shimmer ink is the time for me to try to use the broad nib because the shimmer ink makes me very nervous anyway. So, okay, hopefully I've been moving this pen around enough that I've mixed up the glitter. So let's give this a try. And I've lost my pen cap. Oh, oh, there it is, right in front of me. Um, so, so far it's looking kind of like a, a teal. And let me see. Oh, here's my Q-tip. And you could see the glitter in the sample. It, it seems to settle pretty quickly. 
So let me let me move that around a little bit so we can get a nice glittery swab. Ooh, definitely, definitely a dark teal. And I don't know about shimmer inks dripping. There's certainly a lot of glitter <laughs> on this Q-tip. I need to squeeze it back in the in the sample vial so I don't waste any of my glitter. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with that. So, ooh, let me recap our sample before I knock it over. I feel like these these troublemaker samples, they're so tiny, so there's less of them to begin with, and then they're hard to get, so that makes them even more precious. So this is basically like liquid gold right here, so I have to be very careful with it. Okay, so moving the sample, I mean moving the swatch out of the way, and here is my Claire Fontaine paper. Um... I've been writing with some of my inks in my ink journal, which is a 68 GSM Tomoe River notebook. And I seem to enjoy writing with a lot of these inks more in that notebook than I do on this Claire Fontaine paper. Generally, I like Claire Fontaine paper a lot, but there's quite a few of these inks that have felt really dry on this paper, but I haven't had any trouble with them on the Tomoe River paper. Like the, um, where is it, the Tanzanite. The Tanzanite that gave me so much trouble <laughs> on so many levels. It just, it was not very pleasant on this Claire Fontaine paper, but I was writing in my ink journal on that Tomoe River paper and it was it was very pleasant and it looked really pretty too. This is definitely looking like a kind of an uninspired grayish color, but on the Tomoe River it was much nicer. So definitely paper makes a difference in your writing. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that it's day 28 of 30 Blue Inks 30 Days. So here we go. All right, it seemed to hesitate a little bit on this O, but I don't think that was anything to do with the ink. Frequently when I write with my pens, I, I turn the nib and I think it was just in a bad position for writing. All right, so definitely looking very teal. And let's see, can we see any shimmer? My light is fading. So, I don't know. I'm not seeing much shimmer in there. Let's see what's going on in the pen. Let's see. I don't know. It looks like it's it looks like it's pretty mixed up in there. It's hard to tell. Okay, so let's look at our swab. Now this is definitely looking very shimmery. That is very pretty. So it's got gold shimmer on that dark teal ink. Hopefully that's showing up for you guys. Very nice. Okay, so we have a teal ink and I know I have some teal swatches over here. Let's see what I can find. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Here is, um, this is Robert Oster, Great Southern Ocean. And now I don't have any other shimmering inks swatched that might match this. So all of the swatches I'm gonna show are non-shimmering inks. Um, the other shimmering inks I have are much lighter blues than this. 
So we've got Great Southern Ocean, which is, if you can see the blue coloring under the shimmer, I think he is darker. And there is Noodler's Midnight Blue. I think he's also a bit darker. And there is Private Reserve Midnight Blues. And he is bluer. I think this one is more teal. Let's see. Here is Sailor Manu Kikyu. And I think he's a bit bluer too. There's Diamine Blue Black. He's much lighter. And here's that very greenish looking Private Reserve Ebony Blue. I don't think he's a very good match at all. Here is Venta Ink Stugong Bagal. Definitely much bluer. Here is KWZ Walks Over Vistula. This was one I just did a few days ago. Um, that is a much, much lighter blue. Here is Organic Studio Nitrogen. And again, that's much lighter. Here is Diamine Asa Blue, also much lighter. Here is Diamine Alexandrite. Now this one is definitely a teal, but definitely lighter than Starry Night Blue. And here is Robert Oster Lake of Fire. And I think that's a similar teal color to Starry Night Blue, but it's, it's lighter. Let's see. Are those about the closest? I was thinking that Walk Over Vistula might be close, but I really don't think so. And how about this Great Southern Ocean? I think Lake of Fire is too light. And I think Walk Over Vistula is too blue. So minus the shimmer, I'm thinking maybe the Great Southern Ocean might be the closest one. This one's definitely more vibrant than the Starry Night Blue. But, I don't know. It's very interesting. I can see a velvety night sky full of stars in this ink. It's very pretty. Alright. And hopefully Troublemaker will uh, be having access to their inks for people because I'm just fascinated by them. They're so interesting. Alrighty, well, that is all I had for you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And please tell me in the comments what you know about Troublemaker inks. Um, I have three bottles, and I have two sample sets, the regular inks and the shimmer sheening inks. And I've enjoyed all the ones I've tried so far. I haven't tried all of them yet. But so far, I've, I've really enjoyed them. So let me know how you feel about Troublemaker. And hopefully, I will see you again tomorrow for day 29. Take care. Bye-bye.